What's going on my fellow elegant savages? In today's video, we'll be discussing the top three bulky myths. If this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Alright guys, so lean bulking myth number one is that when you're putting on size, you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want. And I cannot express to you all how wrong this actually is. Now don't get me wrong, balance is important and cheap meals are not the devil. But when you're trying to actually stack on lean muscle that you can sustain for your entire life, you need to be eating healthy 80-85% of the time, especially as a hard gainer or ectomorph. We've been lied to our entire lives and we've been told that our fast metabolisms will save us and that we can eat McDonald's and peanut butter all day and we'll be able to gain the size that we want. All that will actually do is make us skinny fat and put, make us put on more body fat than we actually realize and it'll push us further away from our goals. So if you really want to stack on that lean muscle and be able to sustain it for a lifetime, you need to eat nutritionally dense foods. All right, you all, so the second myth is that all you have to do is lift heavy and you'll get big. So I'm gonna give you all two quick examples that show you why this is not the case, and then I'll actually explain to you all how you can set up your workouts so that you can gain size. All right, guys, so the two examples I want you all to think of is a power lifter and a bodybuilder. Now, power lifters, you'll see them lifting weights and they'll be bench pressing 315 pounds to 500 pounds, but they look like they're fat and out of shape. On the other hand, you have bodybuilders. They're lean, they're freaking huge. They look like the Incredible Hulk, but they're only pumping up with like 30 pound weights and they, these two people look totally different. So this person lifts heavy as a power lifter, but they look fat and out of shape. But then you have the bodybuilder, not saying they don't lift heavy, but a lot of the times they're actually just focusing on those lighter weights and actually focusing on pumping up the muscle. Now the reason why the power lifters can lift so much without building so much muscle is you can train for power without necessarily attacking fat and maximizing muscle gains. Now in the bodybuilder's case, this is what I'm getting into in terms of programming your workout. They're working out in a rep range usually between 6 to 13 or 8 to 12 in that hypertrophy zone. And that's when they're just filling the muscle with as much blood as possible, actually breaking down connective tissue and increasing their time under tension so that they can break down the muscle as much as possible. Then of course we know in that recovery stage, that's how you actually put on more size. So if you're actually trying to get big, you can train for power and strength and muscle at the same time, but you definitely don't want to exclude the two. You can also take the Mike Rashid approach and lift heavy and do a lot of reps, but you can't do it, you can't have a trade-off. You can't lift heavy and only do three to four reps and expect to get huge. You need to be in that hypertrophy rep range if you want to actually put on size. Now the third bulky myth is probably the most confusing and that's the idea that you can put on large amounts of mass, large amounts of muscle without taking on fat and actually burning fat at the same time. Now when you're a newbie, that's why we call it newbie gains, that's like a bro science term and that's because when you haven't been working out before and your body's adjusting to a new stimulus, you will simultaneously put on muscle and shred fat at the same time. But when you've been working out for a while, you reach a plateau where you cut as much weight as you possibly can from being in a caloric deficit alone or you cut as much fat as you possibly can from working out alone while being in maintenance the same thing applies with bulking if you're in a caloric maintenance and you're trying to build size you'll eventually hit a plateau where you put on as much size as you possibly can from working out alone the next thing you have to do is put yourself in a caloric surplus now in the process of doing this you will take on some fat but again, the goal is to minimize that, and that is the whole idea and thought process behind my Lean Bulking program. All right, guys, now like I said, my Lean Bulking Challenge takes all these things in consideration, and it throws all those myths out the window and gets you straight to your goals. Listen, I'm a hard gainer and an ectomorph, so I understand how hard it can be to put on size, especially when you have a fast metabolism. That's why it's even more important that you have your nutrition and your workout program set up correctly so that you can put on the most size as much as you physically and genetically can. So, if you're looking at this video and you're looking at it before November 5th, 2018, you actually have enough time to join the Lean Bulking Challenge first every time I'm throwing it. If you're looking at it past this time, I'll actually be putting out a program that's based on the workouts. You just won't get all the great bonuses that everybody's getting from joining the challenge. 
So if this sounds interesting to you, make sure you check out the link below and you go to elegantsavagery.com. Make sure you get signed up. Without further ado, guys, that's it for today. Catch you all next time.